Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. Um, thank you for joining me today. We decided it's a um, messy day outside. We can't grill out, so we're going to do it on the inside. We've got a rack of ribs going in the oven, um, getting ready to barbecue sauce them. And I'm making potato salad, which I hope you'll join me in making. And I've got baked beans going. I'm just doing stovetop baked beans. But right now I'm putting together a pudding. I'm going to call it pineapple pudding. I've got, I just used instant pudding, a box of instant pudding, and two cups of cold milk. And whisk it together. You see how thick it is? I put a splash of vanilla. Now, this stuff's a little pricey, but it is the best, I believe. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fold in um, this carton of Cool Whip. Now I'm using Cool Whip over homemade whipped cream because it it actually will hold together better. Regular whipped cream will fall apart um, after you keep it in the refrigerator a couple of days. It will start breaking down. Cool Whip won't. So, um, if you want to use homemade, by all means, go ahead. Yours may not last as long as mine. We'll have this for a couple of days or so. And I'm just going to fold the Cool Whip in until you can't see it any longer. And uh, I'm using pineapple today in mine. Um, I've made this before. It's been a long while using fruit cocktail. That's very good. Um, I wouldn't suggest using uh, cherries, you know, any kind of berries like that. It would um, kind of change the color of it, but if that's what you like, go for it. I don't think it would work as well. Um, let's see, it, it's lighting, lightening up the, the pudding and making that consistency now i'm going to i drained my pineapple juice as you can see i drained my pineapples i'm saving that juice well, i throw it away my hands are clean i just washed them so i'm going to kind of break that up a little bit since i, I was draining it so i'm going to fold that in and uh, just kind of mix it really well i might should have used a bigger can of pineapple that was the smaller can, but um, it'll still be delicious. And uh, I've got some um, vanilla wafers that I'm going to, um, that's my hands a little bit. Vanilla wafers that I'm going to, I should have had this out already. I'm going to put some vanilla wafers down in the bottom of my dish and pour this over. I'm going to let it sit on those wafers, and it'll be so good. So when we're ready for dessert, we'll have a nice cold spring, summertime dessert. This is great for picnics. Um, take it to a potluck. We're having um, a family gathering, a potluck at church. Take it, it'd be wonderful. I'm just going to spread out my vanilla wafers and I'm going to pour this on top looky there now how good does that look you know what I was just thinking of doing this if you had some extra pineapple or some pineapple chunks I use crush chunks would work but um, put a few on top to garnish with, and um, so everybody knows what it is. And uh, looky there, quick, easy dessert, and it's put together in no time. Then just put it in the refrigerator and keep it chilled. I'm gonna sit it here for now. Then I'm gonna put my potato salad together. I took, took my potatoes and I cut them up and 
oh, what would that be? Inch and a half or so cubes, two inch cubes. Um, you don't want them too small because when you cook them, it'll cook them away and you'll have mashed potatoes. I cook them until they're, they're soft. I tend to like um, my potato salad a little creamier and not as chunky as a lot of people, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna put mayonnaise in, put as much as you think you need for the amount of potatoes you need. I use two large potatoes for us. I'll have um, potato salad left over. So I'm gonna start with that. It's about a cup. I'm gonna put a squirt of mustard. I just use regular old yellow mustard. That's what we like. And um, a little squirt of that. I'm gonna put some um, dill relish in it. We like dill if you like sweet. By all means, use sweet. Um, if you don't have the relish, chop your pickles up. I will make them as big or as small as you want. This is about the size I like them. So it's just convenience. I like the um, the relish. Kind of gently mix it up. They will break up. If I think I need more mayonnaise in there, I will. That will mix together. You might think it won't, but it will. If you want, you could mix your mayonnaise and mustard and your relish. And I'm going to put onions in it. We like onions and ours. I had some onion left over from the baked beans that I made. And I'm just going to chop it up. Um... Move this out of the way and get myself a little more room here so you can see me. Grab your knife, choke up on your knife. Get your fingers out of the way. See how I'm going down it and make it as fine as you want. There's no need to go this way. The onion's in layers. Why would you need to slice it down the middle? Dice it up. Gets close to the end, turn it over and chop it. Now I want a little more onion than that. And I already have some chopped up, so I'm going to finish using it. I just wanted you to see how I chop it up. As much or as little as you like. Look, scoop it up right in your bowl. It's as easy as that. Or if you've got a bench scraper, use it. It's a wonderful tool. Then you can clean up your work surface with the bench scraper after you're done scooping up. Um, when you use your knives, keep them washed, keep them sharp. A dull knife is the most dangerous tool you can have in your kitchen. It can slip. Um, definitely don't want that. little trick I've learned from somebody else, um, boiling eggs. Get your water to a, a rolling bowl and use use a spoon, dip your eggs into your into your boiling water. Let them boil for about 10 minutes and they will come out perfect. They'll peel perfectly every time. I've always struggled with eggs and never come out perfect and pretty. If I go somewhere, I want to take deviled eggs. They were never real pretty. So, um, to learn this technique, and I learned it by watching someone else's video. So, I'm not going to put all of these in my potato salad, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make us a couple of deviled eggs. We like deviled eggs. We're having a barbecue. What goes better at a barbecue than deviled eggs, right? So, Take my knife again, chuck up on my knife, cut down, cut down again. If you've got an egg slicer, use it. I don't. I'd rather use my knife. That is my favorite tool in the kitchen. And um, then somebody asked me one time what is the one tool that I have to have, and that's my knife. That's a chef knife. I have to have that. 
You can do more with it than you can all the other tools. And you've got your chopper and your slicer all right there in your hand. See? There. This is potato salad like my mother used to make. Now I make it this way. Well, I've always made it this way, but now it's my potato salad. I'm gonna mix it up. And that yolk in there is gonna give it a little more color. And um, if you wanna add more mustard, you can. My taste tester is behind the camera. He's my potato salad. Taster, tester, and uh, there we go. And that's my potato salad. Now I want to um, put a couple of deviled eggs together. I'm gonna set this there. See, you need eggs twice. Go ahead and boil them all at the same time, straight down the center. Pull your knife out. Keep it clean. Straight down the center. Looky there. That's a perfect yolk. I've got to have a little bowl. If you overcook them, they'll get kind of a grayish green color. We don't want that. That's not appealing. Um, yeah, let me get a little spoon. Thank you. Um, looky there. That is a perfect, perfect egg. If you like them softer boiled, don't boil them as long. I boil mine for about 10 minutes. Time it after the uh, water comes to a boil. Doing it this way, you don't have to put salt in it. I used to think I had to put salt in the water to help them peel. Not true. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just smush my, my yolks up. Take the back of your spoon and do it. If I've got a lot of yolks, let me show you what I'm doing. If I'm doing a lot of deviled eggs, I've got this wonderful tool I've discovered called a blending fork. I use that if I'm making biscuits. It cuts my butter, my shortening into it. When you're frying something, it turns it. If I'm doing deviled eggs, I use this to mash my yolks up. I don't need it today. I've only got that few. But that's a wonderful thing. You can get it on Amazon. They're not expensive at all. And um, you'll enjoy it. So I'm going to put just a little mayonnaise. I don't want them gloopy. Technical term. Gloopy. I'm going to put a tad of mustard. If I need more mayonnaise in it, I will. I don't want them runny and I think I want just another tad of, yeah I'm going to put some um, yes I want some relish in it thank you um, you can put it in you don't have to if you don't want to just a little bit of relish again like I said I use dill um, I know a lot of people use sweet, and that's fine. Put it in. Now, I'm just going to spoon this onto my eggs. If I'm wanting to be like the holidays, or if you want to have them really pretty and you're going somewhere, put them in a piping bag. And um, if you don't have a piping bag, Put them in a zippy top bag, squish them down to the corner, snip the corner off, and pipe it into that little egg well right there. It makes them really pretty. It'll make you feel good so you've got something real nice and pretty for your special occasion. Looky there. Let's see how long that took. But, I'm not finished. My grandson would never forgive me if I made deviled eggs and didn't sprinkle paprika on top of them. Just a pinch. That is his thing. He loves it. So, I have to do it just for him. 
Falcon, this is for you. Now looky there. Look how pretty that is. See, it's done. Some gorgeous deviled eggs. Let me show you my spice rack. I saw, heard about this on um, online, and I found it at Walmart. It's cheaper at Walmart than it is Amazon. It's called Spicy Shelf. And my spices were a mix smash in my cabinet, and I, I just couldn't find things, and I had spices that were getting old because they were pushed to the back. I got that. Everything's organized. I've got like things together. If I want to make dressing, I've got my sage and um, my poultry season. All of that's in one spot. If I want to make chili, I've got my chili powder, my cumin, all of that's in one spot together. So something good to have if you want to think about that. So there you go. Potato salad, deviled eggs. We've even got dessert made. I've got baked beans in my pot here. Like I said, I just did them stove top. Um, nothing fancy. And we got ribs in the oven that are ready to, um, they're covered up, but we'll sauce them in just a few minutes and um, we'll have dinner when we're ready to eat. Thank you for joining with me today. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed it in it. I hope it was helpful for you. Come and watch me again. Thank you. Love you. Bye.